Hi everyone. Okay, so this is day nine of staying safe, staying sane, and staying home. Okay, um, so I hope you guys are doing the best you can. Um, I hope we're sending out love and appreciation to everyone on the front line, everyone that is still forced to go to work. Um, I can understand there's a lot of worry and a lot of like this unsettled feeling of insecurity and uncertainty. And um, we're praying for all of you <laughs> and just stay safe, you know, keep your distances, sanitize your masks, your gloves, just do the best you can do, you know. Um, okay, so today is going to be about what we had spoken about, our focus. Um, what are we going to focus on? What is it that maybe we want to change? Um, in these mini um, coaching videos um, with the support and just like giving you guys a task to do, maybe taking you a step further in what it is you want to do with your life or what it is you want to accomplish. Um, okay, so we spoke about the last couple of days, we had spoken about um, visualizing what it is we want, how we want to live, um, the experiences we want to have, um, maybe things we'd like to share with others or, um, in general, like experiences, what it is you want to live in this life. You know, it's, it really is just very simple. If you just set things out on the table and you see the big picture, um, the things you can accomplish in life are so many, so many things. Uh, but the point is, what is most important to you? What is your priority? What is it that you want to actually see and experience before this lifetime is up? No one is guaranteed tomorrow. No one is guaranteed um, a second chance. Like arriving here in, um, in this body, in this soul, on this earth, the one thing that we are guaranteed is that one day we're leaving. That's the only thing we know from day one when we get here. And still, it is, um, I can say like a 95% of most people's greatest fear. Having to leave this place. Death. Um, leaving and having unfulfilled dreams. Uh, leaving and having not said what you wanted to say. Um leaving with that music still in you that you wanted to share with the world. So we're all faced with that at some point. And now I can actually say with this coronavirus going around, it is something that is very, um, it's kind of shouting out there at people that, you know, um, there is uncertainty. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what the next thing is that could happen. We don't know if it's going to be a loved one. We don't know if it's going to be a friend, if it's going to be us, if it's going to be our kids. No one knows what's coming. So that's why when you live a life that is purpose-driven, that is what you want it to be, and you fight every day to make it what you want it to be, and you go there creating what you want to live, it changes everything. Because even if you're not living the dream, you're on the way to the dream. And like living the dream is the journey getting there basically because once you're there you're just there um the biggest part of it is the journey making it happen creating all of that that you want so today's assignment will be for you since you've actually sat for a few days like the last two three days with what i've given you guys which has been visualizing creating going there taking that extra time to sit with your thoughts, to sit with what it is you really want, what it is you feel in your gut and in your heart that you really, really want as a person, as a human being, as a soul here on earth, I would say take the time to get really honest with yourself and really raw and say, okay, what are the number one, three things that I need to do that could most possibly get me there? What are those three things? Because as I'd said before, like we all pretty know, like we pretty much know what we want. Um, and then basically 
we we either know what we need to do or we never take the time to think about it because it's too scary take the time we're at home we've got loads of time on our hands just think about it what would be those two three things that are going to make the world of a difference those small actions or big actions that if you actually took them they could actually take you from where you are to where you want to be so let's just take the time to think of what actions what are those two three things or maybe just the one thing because sometimes it's just one thing that changes everything like it's a ripple effect you do that one thing and then everything else just falls into place let's think about it what is that one thing um okay that's it for today this is what i want to give you for the actual um taking the time to do something about what it is you want to experience and what it is you want to live i'm sorry my hair is like a mess uh what it is you want to live and what it is you want to experience and then the other thing i'm going to give you is um for those that are suffering with great anxiety um there are people that have called me and they, they're like, uh, there are moments when it, it feels like it's um, overwhelming and that they can't breathe um, and that they just cannot get a grip of what's going on. So we have, um, we've got like uh, parts of our body which have like this hold that when you hold it for long enough, like just a few seconds and you breathe into it and you relax, you can actually um realign yourself you realign your energy you can realign your breathing and it kind of it helps instantly calm down the body so um i can't do it with both hands basically the right hand you're going to place on your forehead and you're going to hold and you're going to place your um sorry your left hand no it's going to be your right hand on your head and it's going to be your left hand on your heart and you're just going to sit there and you're going to hold it okay i can't put my left hand on my heart but put your left hand on your heart and just sit there and relax and take a deep breath you can close your eyes gently if you want take a deep breath hold it for a second and then just exhale gently and then just breathe gently and just keep holding your forehead with your other hand on your heart and just breathe and relax just by having that pressure on your forehead you can instantly feel your breath slowing down and you do it for a bit longer you just do it for a few seconds until you feel that your you know your heart rate and your breathing has slowed down and then you move the hand from your head and you take it down to your belly and you hold your belly and you keep your other hand on your heart and you keep breathing into your belly you just feel your breath going in through the belly hold it for a bit and then exhale and then just do it for a bit longer and then just exhale and we have a, another hold part which is here okay so you can use this this and this and you can do that as often as you want it like instantly slows the heart rate down it um it relaxes you and you're able to kind of synchronize your breathing and just general in general like just relax so use it you can use it at work you can use it if you're out and you're feeling like you know that it's coming on um generally we want to give you tools now that are uh instant access you can use them anywhere it's not embarrassing to do um if you're in the supermarket and you're just feeling like a bit overwhelmed you can just turn to a corner like turn to a fridge at some corner of the fridge um or a shelf and just place your hands in those positions one on your heart one on your forehead and just take a few breaths okay and just slow yourself down you can do it in the car and you can do it anywhere basically it's easy access it's not difficult to do and you're able to just recover yourself and get control okay so this is it for today have a great evening um
I'm sorry, it was a stay, no, it's day nine. Day nine of support, uh, staying home and staying sane. This is our goal, guys. We're staying sane and we're also coming out of this stronger, okay? Stronger with a plan of where we're going, what we're going to do, um, what we want in life. You know, you see all these posts on Facebook which say things like, um, when you, when this is over, like, let's, um, let's be sure of what we're returning back to, like what we want to go back to and the pace. And I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it's something along those lines. And it's true. Like choose what's important. Choose what the hell you are going to give your attention to. Life is too short to just mess around with things that you're not really interested in or like to live your life doing stuff that you don't care about. Find the job you love, find the people that you love, find your, your community, your crowd, um, the things that make you feel most alive and do them, do the most of that because that's what this whole experience is about, okay? That's why it's called life and alive. So let's make sure that what we are doing does make us feel alive. So I'm going to leave you with that. Have a great evening. Till tomorrow. Bye.